Hey everyone, it's Cody and I'm back solo with an HGA graded card reveal. This is now our third submission that we've returned back and I have one of my very own cards in here this time. So I'm excited to have one of my own HGA slabs, but the other four, the other four are, are Hall of Famers and we even have a Kobe in here that all three of us own. So let's jump into this graded card reveal and let's see what the grades came back as. Here's the first one. This is a 1993 Topps Stadium Club Michael Jordan card, uh, number 210. And this is actually the only Michael Jordan that we have in this one. And by the way, we pulled the Scoring Kings variation from PSA. It came back as a PSA 8. We have that up on eBay and my slabs, but the eBay link is nothing but cardboard. So if you're interested, please check us out. These cards as well will be on this uh, nothing but cardboards eBay as well. But for the first one, HGA, Michael Jordan, 1993 tops, number 210. Let's see what we got. And we got a near mint eight on the Michael Jordan. That's a cool card. So I think we got these cards from actually a binder and a card in our LCS uh, here in Newport Ritchie. Uh, these were good finds nevertheless. So we got a, 1992-93 Top Stadium Club Michael Jordan number 210 and they got a near mint 8. So the corners got an 8.5, edges 8.5 and the surface and centering were 8.0. Which is crazy because we thought we were professionals with this and we thought we were going to get closer to a, a 10 but looks like that top right corner is a little bent there. Same thing with this corner too, what the heck. I know we're pretty picky with our cards, so I'm actually kind of, uh, as I throw it, we're, I'm kind of surprised that we sent this one. But nevertheless, uh, HGA 8 for the Michael Jordan. The next one is uh, from the same set. The next two cards will be from the same set. This is the Shaquille O'Neal 201. And let's see here if I got that right. Okay. All right. So I'm thinking it's an 8.5. There's no point in and not showing these grades because that is an 8.5. Shaquille O'Neal, 8.5 near mint plus. Um, really cool card, uh, really nice. Again, eight on centering. Not sure how they get that. Maybe it's on the back, no, I guess they couldn't. Eight on the centering, 8.5 in all the other categories. So corners, edges, and surface. Let's see if we see anything on this one. Maybe it's a corner. Kind of see some stuff going on there. Anyways, I like the color uh, the color splash there on the label as opposed to the standard red PSA label. Um, not sure how these are gonna perform. These vintage cards are gonna perform with an HJ slab, but only time will tell. Again, they will be on our eBay. Um, so 8.5, we're turning up. So let's see what this next one is. Shaquille O'Neal, number 247, same set, 1992 to 93. And another 8.5. So this one was a little bit stronger, as you can tell. The corners and the surface got a 9. The edges were an 8.5, and the centering was 8 again. So not sure how you tell the centering on this. It's got to be something with that band on the bottom, right? But nevertheless, a nice uh, Shaquille O'Neal. 92 draft pick on the bottom left. It's pretty cool. All right. Let's move on. This is a really cool card. Got it a little bit after the Kobe hype. I, I shut it down there because uh, the cards are shifting a little bit in these slabs. I don't really, I don't know if I like that. Anyways, we got the mini here. Kobe Bryant, Jermaine O'Neal, and Kevin Garnett. So two Hall of Famers with KG and Kobe Bryant. Jermaine O'Neal, sorry. Don't think you're gonna make it, but this these are the rookie cards. And hopefully we get a stronger grade on this one than the previous two. So let's see. Ah, nice. Got a 9.0 on the Kevin Garnett, Kobe Bryant mini there. Sweet. That's awesome. So the four grades, 9.5 on the corners, got a 9 on the surface, 8 on the centering, and 9.5 on the edges. So the centering on this card was the one that really knocked us. I think it's kind of unfair to have uh, centering grades on these minis, but I don't know. Anyways, got the nice nine on there. Got a really cool like neutral white here. 
kind of like it because of all the white on the card. It'd be tough to do a, a color splash on this one, right? But really cool card. Again, two Hall of Famers with Kobe and Kevin Garnett. Uh, really cool card. Uh, I think the value in this one has actually dropped significantly since we, since the point that we shipped it out. But uh, still a cool card nonetheless. And uh, R.I.P. Mamba. All right. So those four cards were all of ours. They were NBC's cards. But this final one is my personal. So it is a 2020 Prism Got Game of Tom Brady, the GOAT. Um, and this is the Mosaic Got Game Prism. So whew, I sent one to PSA and I sent one to HJ. Let's see what the grade's going to be. And I got a 9.0. Come on, man. Dang, got an 8 on the surface. Brutal. Come on, HGA. What are you talking about, dude? Oh, well. Really cool card. I like the color splash on there. Now with the custom labels of HGA, probably would have been cool to have something similar to that. But uh, nonetheless, got the GOAT in the Bucks jersey, his Super Bowl year. Man, really cool card. Got a nice uh, flash to it. This is a 9.0. It's a mint card. Um, not exactly sure where they got me on the surface. Makes me kind of worried about the, P the one I sent to PSA now, but... 9.5 on the corners, 9.5 on centering, and 9 on the edges. So, um, overall, again, with this being our third HJ submission, I've opened two of them already. I really, really like the slabs of HGA. I don't know if it's necessarily the, the point of it being all clear. Like, I like the frosted edges on the PSA slabs but the weight on these things are, are significant. And I would think if you're at a card show and you have hundreds of slabs and they're all HGA, it's really gonna be pretty heavy. So I don't know if that's really a benefit or an advantage of, over PSA. In my personal opinion, I'm not exactly sure. I don't think it really matters in, in that perspective. I think HGA made these slabs thicker so that they could uh, be more durable and uh, harder to crack open. But in reality, you can still crack these bad boys open. They're plastic. Um, but nevertheless, I still think they're cool. I think it's a great alternative to PSA. Their lead times are 10 times better. Um, and overall, we're super excited, super happy with these. We have multiple orders out there. Um, and again, these items will end up on eBay. So if you're interested in one of these cards, stop by our eBay shop at Nothing But Cardboard and uh, get your hands on these because they're going to go fast. Thank you all so much for joining us on another great card reveal. We know you guys love this. Uh, we are so close to 100 subscribers. By the time this video releases, we, are, we may already be there. So if we are there, thank you all so much for the support. If we're not there, subscribe.